What's going on? Happy Monday. Liam here, Everything NYJ. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. Robert Sala met with the media at the owners meeting today, so let's get right into it. First thing Robert Sala was asked about, we already knew what it was going to be. He was asked, where do the Green Bay Packers and the New York Jets stand on the Aaron Rodgers trade? Robert Sawa says that's more of a Joe D question. He actually says that a lot during this press conference, but I completely understand it, but does think that eventually they'll figure something out. I get it. You know, if you're Robert Sawa, you're not going to break any crazy news. I mean, this was a fun press conference. I feel like with all these rumors and these uh, trades out there and everything else going on in Jets land, we did get some information. This wasn't just your typical coach speak press conference, but says that Aaron Rodgers is still a member of another team. They can't really talk too much about him. You don't want to go down that tampering road. It just doesn't end well for anybody. Uh, you don't want to give the Packers any more leverage by saying, you know, he's plan A and we don't have a plan B. If I hear that word leverage one more time, I'm going to scream. It's just so annoying. The Jets have the leverage. The Packers have the leverage. It's just the last thing that we knew or the last report, I should say, is that the New York Jets and the Green Bay Packers were still very far apart on trade compensation. It seems like the Jets still don't want to give up that first-round pick, and the uh, word on the street is that the Packers want the 13th overall pick. I don't think it's going to happen, but that's a video for a whole different day. Uh, that wasn't the main, uh, you know, meat and gravy, you know, or potato and gravy, whatever you want to say. <laughs> so also says that Zach Wilson is definitely the uh, number two quarterback, still believes that Zach Wilson can be a good quarterback in the NFL. Not really what I wanted to hear. I mean, I still kind of believe in Zach Wilson. Yeah, it is what it is. He sucked last year. Absolutely sucked. I don't want to see Zach Wilson dressing this year. I'd rather see him holding the clipboard, learning from one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, his idol. Uh, I would much rather go out and sign a veteran quarterback don't really have a specific one in mind, but pretty much any other quarterback would do. I mean, it's hard to get worse than Zach Wilson. I'm sure they're out there, but it's kind of hard. Do I still like Zach Wilson? I think he's a good kid. I do. Do I think that he can turn out? I don't think he's going to be anything great, but I, you know, even serviceable, it, it, it's hard to say that he's going to be a serviceable quarterback just because of how, how bad he played last year. Huge regression. I, everybody saw it. And I don't want Zach Wilson suiting up you know, if God forbid something happens to Aaron Rodgers, he goes out there, you know, the first incomplete pass or a bad read or an interception, whatever it is, the kid's going to be booed off the field. His confidence is going to go whoop all the way down, just like it has in the past. And he's going to be a deer in headlights. He's going to be lost. And it's just, it's not best for Zach Wilson right now. You know, like I said, I want Zach Wilson to sit there and learn. Uh, just, you know, look over a clipboard, hold the clipboard, get Aaron Rodgers' his water, you know, get, rub the sweat off of his forehead, whatever you need to do. I don't want to see Zach Wilson on the field at all this year. That's just the way I feel on it. I mean, obviously, we don't want to see Aaron Rodgers going down if and when he be, uh, becomes the Jets quarterback. He spoke, well, he being Robert Sala, spoke a little bit about ABT, says that he's one of the best tackles in all of football, uh, views him as an all-pro offensive lineman. It's hard to disagree. AVT is the Joe Klecko of the offensive line, played all over, up and down that offensive line at a high level, whether it be left guard, left tackle. I believe the only position he didn't play on the offense this year was center. And I'm sure he could play that pretty damn well too. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he was also asked about uh, the Jets' interest in Odell Beckham Jr. with all the ACL injuries and the character problems. Just what is all the interest about? Robert Sala says the ACLs are an easy fix these days, uh, says that the New York Jets are crossing every T, dotting every I. They don't want to possibly miss out on a great player, says that Odell Beckham Jr. actually is a phenomenal human being. There has been the, uh, the, the questions about his personality, that he could be a little bit of a diva. If the Jets aren't worried about it, I'm not going to be worried about it. I mean, we see that... Joe Douglas has no tolerance. He has a zero tolerance policy for Divas. Got rid of Jamal Adams, just traded Elijah Moore, who was becoming a pain in the butt at, uh, last year. Says Actually, you know, speaking about Elijah Moore, Robert Sala says that the Cleveland Browns are getting a really good wide receiver. And, you know, they're just going to honor that trade. Elijah Moore got off his speed back, had a really good ending of the season last year. But, you know, just being a Diva, it's just not going to last on this Jets team. But like I said, you know, 
they they're they're not really worried about OBJ's personality. I'm not going to be worried about it. Yes, he has been a pain in the years past, but if everybody's winning, that's all everybody ever cares about. Unless you're Elijah Moore. I mean, everybody besides Elijah Moore was happy that they were winning, but Elijah Moore was angry that he wasn't getting his targets. Hopefully, OBJ doesn't uh, have that same problem. I'm not so sure. It is what it is. When there's smoke, there's fire. Robert Sala, you know, speaking highly about OBJ does make me believe that there is a realistic chance that OBJ comes to the Jets if they can have a contract that's reasonable for both parties. So there's that. Speaking on Ezekiel Elliott, those rumors have been circulating these last couple of weeks for the New York Jets. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott saying that he wants to play for the Bengals, the Jets, or the Eagles. And then the rumor was that the Jets and the uh, Eagles were out on OBJ. Robert Sawa kind of confirmed that today by saying, uh, we love our running back room. I'm going to keep it at that. That's what he said. And I, I get it. Where does Ezekiel Elliott fit in with the New York Jets? I mean, we have Brees Hall, Michael Carter, Bam Knight. They just signed Ty Johnson to a one-year deal. So that's a lot of mouths to feed as it is right there. Where would somebody like an Ezekiel Elliott fit in? He's going to want a lot of money. He has a lot of tread on his tires. I don't think that that's really a reasonable contract for the Jets. I think Joe Douglas, Robert Sawa feel the same way. So that's good. One last thing I'm going to touch on here before I let you guys go. Don't want to hold you guys up all day. We all have crazy afternoons, I'm sure, whether you're just getting home from work. You know, like me, I got to hit the gym after this. Uh, you know, I got laundry. Life continues, so I don't want to hold you guys up all day. Carl Lawson says, well, Robert Sala says, Carl Lawson will be here as long as he can walk and play, acknowledges that pass rushers do not grow on trees. There has been plenty of rumors the last couple of weeks that Carl Lawson could be a cap casualty. Uh, his numbers last year really weren't all that great, but he was also coming off of that ACL injury. So this is going to be a full year removed from that. Interesting to see how Carl Lawson improves how he steps up his game going into this upcoming season i like carl lawson a lot uh I, like i said i wasn't sure that he was worth his contract i think it was like seven million dollars don't quote me on that i'm not really a great contract guy but if robert sala likes him and you know robert sala his defense is predicated on pass rushers carl lawson is one of the best uh pass rushers on the team i was very excited when we got him in free agency a couple years back Joe Douglas seems to like him. He seems to be a locker room guy. So it seems like they're going to keep him. That's all that we pretty much got out of the Robert Sala press conference. Like I said, we did get some information. You know, the Ezekiel Elliott rumor squashed. It seems like uh, the rumors with OBJ are heating up. We found out that Zach Wilson is going to be the uh, the backup quarterback, number two. Uh, thinks that the Aaron Rodgers contract, they'll figure something out soon. So it was nice to get a little bit of information from Robert Sala in the New York Jets. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. Do you guys think that Robert Sala was being genuine, he was being honest, or do you guys think it was a lot of coach speak? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Liam out of here. We'll talk Jets soon.